Hello, welcome, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for being here. This is like a part two to a previous video of mine. I'm gonna be showing you five meal preps that don't suck, part two, because you deserve to eat good food that doesn't suck and is not boring. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first recipe that I'm gonna be making is just like a protein pasta with pesto, chicken, and some veggies. I like to use the bonza pasta if and when I do make pasta, just because it's like higher in protein, it's supposedly a little better for you. So I have that portioned out here. So I'm gonna throw this in some boiling water I have ready back here. And then now I'm just gonna season my chicken. If you've seen any of my other videos, I do not have a method to this madness. I just do what my heart desires. So we're going for some garlic powder, onion powder. I know this looks reckless, um, that's because it is. Pepper and a little bit of chili powder because why not? So I have my chicken cooking back here. I just do like a medium high heat with some olive oil. And then to kind of spice up the recipe a little bit, I'm gonna throw in some of these grape tomatoes, just kind of chop them up. All right, the chicken's done, so I'm gonna throw it here for a second and then use this pan to just, I don't know, lightly cook these tomatoes for a minute. And then also just throw in this chopped arugula. You can use spinach, you can use whatever you want. I did a quick little like saute roast whatever of the tomatoes. I'm just gonna chop up this chicken now and go ahead and add that. Right now it's just a matter of combining everything. So we're gonna throw the chicken in. Then I'm gonna add in the pasta. Lastly is just some pesto. This is basil pesto, it's so good. I love it a lot. Just add in however much um, your heart desires. And then we give it a little mix here. All right, so the next meal in the meal prep series I'm gonna be making is just a really simple ground turkey bowl. Now my base is going to be lettuce. I particularly like to use romaine lettuce, but you can use rice, brown rice, rice cauliflower. You can also do like mixed greens or you can just skip on the greens all together. I have just some lean ground turkey here already portioned out. This is about four ounces. So start with the seasoning. I'm gonna use some chili powder, some garlic powder, onion powder, and for some spice, some cayenne pepper. But for the base, again, just using some romaine leaves, just gonna chop this up. Did you guys see that TikTok hack where you just push the seed out of the avocado like this? This whole time I've been like hot to get the seed out. So life hack, TikTok, you learn something new all the time. Now I'm just gonna assemble the ground turkey bowl. All I did was cook the ground turkey on like medium high heat after I seasoned it and it looks and smells pretty good. So I'm just gonna add it to my um, lettuce base here. Now, if you are meal prepping this, like you're taking it to work for the next day, the day after, for school, for dinner tomorrow night, you can store the lettuce and the ground turkey separately. I recommend doing that. Um, what I've done in the past is assemble like all of the toppings I'm about to show you and the ground turkey together and the lettuce separately just so it doesn't get soggy. But for sake of the video, I'm just gonna put it all together right now. Little bit of corn. I've already um, strained and rinsed some of this canned corn. Same with some black beans. Add a little bit of your favorite salsa to the top. And then top it with a little bit of sour cream. And lastly, of course, cheese of choice. I'm just using some cheddar cheese. Next recipe is a shrimp stir fry little moment. I don't know what else to call it, but with a kick, we're gonna be using this pasta zero. Now, if you've never had this before, let me enlighten you. It's made from shirataki, which is from the root of the cognac plant. Very fibrous, very earthy, if you will. Um, very low calorie though. This whole package is only 45 calories, but they're actually really good. You just have to know how to cook them correctly because I'm not gonna lie to you if you've never had these before, you cut this bag open and you rinse the noodles, it smells like fish. It's not a cute smell. I don't know why it smells like that. First thing we're gonna do is make the sauce that's gonna go with a little stir fry. So I use a kind of variety of different sauces here, which I already have pre-portioned out, but you're gonna wanna use some kind of soy sauce. I go for the lower sodium soy sauce. 
You're gonna need rice vinegar, some sesame oil. This is just toasted sesame oil. I don't think there's a difference, but I'm not a real chef, so. And this is optional, but I do like to use some kind of sweet chili sauce. It gives it a nice little kick. A little bit of olive oil too, just to kind of start um, sauteing everything together. So I'm gonna throw a little bit of olive oil into the pan here. I'm at the bottom of this, so bear with me here. Add in some garlic. Then I'm gonna add in the rice vinegar, the sesame oil, and soy sauce. And this is gonna be the little marinade, the little sauce that goes with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw this on the stove. Again, medium high heat. It's just my go-to cooking temperature. I don't really know if it makes a difference, but medium high heat. We're gonna let this get fragrant and then we're gonna work on the noodles next. I just like to get all the extra liquid out there. And then you wanna rinse them really well with cold water. I mean, you wanna rinse them like you mean it. So while the sauce is going, I'm actually gonna start sauteing some of these veggies in with it as well. You can use whatever vegetables that you want. I have this cabbage mix here, so you can use this. I also like to use red pepper and then green onions. You can do like snow peas, broccoli, onion, whatever you want. These are just kind of three basics that I decided to go for. So I'm just gonna chop up these green onions and I already have the bell pepper done as you can see. Then I'm gonna take these noodles and because they're so long, let me see if I can show you, they're extremely long like that is one noodle i like to chop mine up a couple of times that way when i eat it it's easier to eat i'm sure this is going to make a lot of people angry because some people use like ramen noodles or regular pasta they keep it long i prefer to have it easier to eat so i am just going to throw this on my cutting board here and just chop it up make it a little bit easier to eat so if this is triggering to you just don't watch <laughs> usually I like to just cut it in fourths like this that way the noodles are just much smaller now. Well, that one's kind of long, but they're usually a little bit smaller now. Just easier to eat, my preference. So we've got the sauce going, we've got the vegetables stir frying a little bit, I'm gonna add in the noodles. So this is the mixture of everything minus the shrimp. So this is gonna be the noodles, the bell peppers, and the cabbage mixture. Since this is already pre-cooked frozen shrimp, I had it thawing out for just a little bit. You don't actually have to cook pre-cooked shrimp, you just have to add it to your dish. And then of course stir it in, make sure it's warm and then you can serve it. But before you do that, we're gonna add some sweet chili sauce to this to just give it a little bit of extra flavor. This is the Trader Joe's brand because that's the only place I shop, but I know a lot of other stores make it as well. The next recipe that I'm gonna be showing you guys is not really much of a recipe. This is more just throwing as many things as you can into a bowl to prepare it for a later date. It is so easy, it hurts. So I'm not even gonna cook this, I'm just gonna show you how I prepare it, okay? Um, what I like to do is just get as many vegetables as possible. So today I'm gonna to be using a zucchini, squash, and some broccoli. You can do whatever vegetables be fancy and some kind of chicken sausage or you can use any kind of sausage or meat or tofu or really whatever you can really customize this if you want so all i'm going to do is chop everything up throw it in a bowl season it and set it aside for later this was actually something i came up with or did really for the first time the other night i was actually meal prepping for work which is something i do like every week pretty much and i was like i'm just gonna put everything together keep all of the vegetables and everything just raw that way when i come home i can just throw it in the air fryer and have like an actual like fresh and hot meal sometimes i know when you meal prep or you get things together especially if you're roasting vegetables or you're crisping them up they don't taste the same after you throw the microwave or you reheat it on the stove so i kind of like this meal specifically for that because you can just keep everything uncooked and then when you're ready throw it in your air fryer throw it on a baking sheet and throw it in the oven it's super simple super easy this looks like a lot of food but it's actually a very like low calorie meal but it's going to fill you up because it's just a lot of high fiber really good filling vegetables and again i'm sorry that some of my um, recipes aren't super specific on like this much chili powder or like this much garlic powder and you know this amount of olive oil truthfully when i cook this is what i look like even when i'm not filming i just throw things together and hope for the best i am going to throw some of this avocado oil in it because i'm out of regular olive oil at the moment but just something to get it to stick so whatever you want to do there i'm just going to spray some of that in there and whatever seasonings you want to do so i like to use umami seasoning blend throw that in there as you guys know i'm pretty big on seasoning stuff i feel like that just gives it the most flavor possible garlic powder which i'm out of actually look at that that's how much i use it chili powder 
I've done like paprika too, usually tastes really good with something like this. And some pepper. I know this looks crazy, but just wait. You throw a lid on it, give it a good shake. So this is what you've got. But what I recommend is storing this in your fridge overnight, have it for dinner tomorrow night. When you're ready, if you have an air fryer, dump this whole thing in the air fryer, like 350 degrees for like 15, 20 minutes, whatever crispy level you prefer. If you don't have an air fryer, you can just throw it on a baking sheet, bake it in the oven, roast it, whatever you wanna do. This is seriously the easiest and most convenient meal prep of all time. I love it. But again, this is all you've got, throw it in the fridge and you're good to go. On to the very last meal prep for five meal preps that don't suck part two is a homemade poke bowl. I'm not claiming for this to be authentic. I'm not trying to claim to be as good as the restaurants, but this is just kind of like my go-to version that I've been making for a while and I really, really like it. And I've shared it on my Instagram and you guys want to know how I make it, so I'm going to show you. First of all, yes, Trader Joe's is my only personality trait, but I really like to get their ahi tuna because you can eat this raw because it's sushi grade and it's hardwood smoked so it's okay to eat raw I like this i already have some out on a plate but for my base for my poke bowl i like to use mixed greens you can use rice of course next for toppings i'm going to add some avocado and also you can just customize this in whatever way you like your sushi so for me when i order sushi i like having some avocado in it i'm gonna try to be fancy and see if we can slice this this is probably not super safe. Next topping I'm gonna add is a cucumber. Now this is a weird one, but hear me out. When you order like a Philly roll or something, a little bit of cream cheese in a poke bowl is a game changer, all right? It's really hard to cut and doesn't look as pretty, but adds some good flavor. You like this much little? This is not gonna be pretty to cut, so. Now I'm just gonna slice up this tuna. And lastly, I'm just gonna top it with some edamame. These were microwavable edamame that actually came in the pod. And then I just microwaved them, took them out, and this is what I'm gonna add to the top. So lastly, to make the poke bowl have the most amount of flavor, and just to give it a little spice if you will you're just gonna make a spicy mayo and all you do is just mix some sriracha or hot sauce of choice with a little bit of mayonnaise you just start mixing that together it's gonna be clumpy for a minute but it's gonna make a nice little sauce to drizzle on top that is all i have for today's video sharing with you five different meal preps that don't suck because you deserve to eat good food that's not boring. That way when you get to lunch at work, it's the best part of your day, so you're welcome. Leave a comment down below which of these meals you would most like to try, and if you try them, let me know how they turn out. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, please do so below, that would mean so much to me. Thank you guys again so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video. <laughs> I didn't even mess it up, gets one string of cheese. Okay. Smell, smell that. I don't know if I want to. It's gross. <laughs> yep. Okay. That was a real guy. Okay, sorry. R.I.P. Is it sauce? The stir fry? Oh! Um.